I'm Joel Robinson, and this is Star Wars Rebels Theory Crafting. So in the last three episodes of Star Wars Rebels, there's been a lot of talk about Ezra Bridger's fate. Debo talks about it, Kanan talks about it, even Ezra questions his own fate. Everyone wants to know what will happen to Ezra. So we know that Star Wars continually borrows from actual historical events. So if we want to know what Ezra will become, we need to look at the past. So grab your whip and Indiana Jones hat, and let's get started. The name Ezra is Hebrew, and means help. This is already very important because helping others is a very big theme of Rebels. From the first episode, Ezra learns the importance of helping others as he gives food to the people of Tarkin Town. Later in the episode, Path of the Jedi, Ezra describes his desire to give to the people around him. In the future, we know it's Ezra's fate to become a rebel and do more selfless acts for the people around him. Of course, that seems pretty obvious, but what about something bigger? Historically, the most famous Ezra is Ezra the Scribe. He's referenced in the Torah and the Bible in the Book of Ezra. Ezra described in those texts is a man who returns from exile in Babylon and reintroduces the Torah to Jerusalem. Ezra is also famed for leading a large body of exiles back to Jerusalem. So from this information, we can begin to construct a clearer picture of what Ezra's role in the Rebellion will be. It's now clear from Path of the Jedi that Ezra will become a Jedi Knight. So imagine for a moment the dangers of this decision. Maybe his being orphaned is already a reference to being exiled, or his exile is yet to come. Technically, during this time, all the Jedi Knights have been exiled due to Order 66. The reintroduction of the Torah could be alluding to Ezra reintroducing Jedi ways to the people. Maybe eventually Ezra will teach the ways of the Jedi to the other people. The leading of the exiled people is a very clear point. He will either lead the people of the Thal, other Jedi, or his parents back from their exile. This of course is a good point. What if Ezra's parents aren't dead, but are merely exiled? It is possible that the Bridger parents fled into exile, and wherever that is, there was too much danger for Ezra. So they left him on Lothal with Zebo. Zebo then became fearful of raising Ezra and fled, leaving Ezra orphaned. Let me know what you think. Is it Ezra's fate to rescue his parents, or is there something greater going on? Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up down below if you want to see more Star Wars Rebels videos. And may the Force be with you. Always.